In this video, we'll be showing how to install the Dream Tech Splines package as, along with the MMLC Splines integration package and uh, do a quick test to make sure everything is working properly. So starting from a uh, project that already has MMLC and any of the other assets that you want installed, we can uh, start by going to Tools, 3 Pete MMC Configuration Wizard. Oh, I have it open. So there it is. You notice there's a new section called Character Control Plugins, the first of which is Dream Tech Splines and the errors it's giving are main package not installed and integration package not installed. So we can toggle the help, it tells us what to do. It wants us to import the Dream Text Blinds from the package manager and there is a convenience button here to go. I've already searched for it, I have Dream Text Blinds. If you don't, go to the Unity Asset Store, type in Dream Tech in the search bar and you can add it to your assets for free. It used to be a paid asset, so it's very full featured. It had a long history of support and testing. So it's a very good package and it is now completely free. So we'll go ahead and import that. And there should be no errors in the console. So we go back here and remember we have to click recheck dependencies and sure enough now the main package has been installed. Now it's just telling us the integration package isn't installed again. You can go to the integration package, ping it, and we can import that as well. Just to walk through this very quickly, there's two examples. If you just have MMLC core, then you're going to want to use this example scene with the core. And if you have parkour controller installed with the parkour animation set, there's a more uh, advanced example that has some parkour runs in it, or one parkour run really. The brain of this thing really is the input scheme. So this is spline cinematic. In future updates, I'm going to be adding both the player-based spline and the hybrid nav mesh spline, which the hybrid nav mesh spline will allow you to completely script your NPC behaviors or your AI to, if you want to follow the nav mesh to attempt a spline, but use the nav mesh to determine what's possible and to make it all smooth. But additionally, even if you're just using nav mesh or doing that as an excursion from your spline, you can use the spline triggers to automatically initiate behaviors when you get to a certain point in your nav mesh route. So it makes uh, scripting, or if, for example, you want to force a cut at a hard turn, you can do that using a spline trigger instead of uh, having to set up triggers or anything else in a nav mesh setting. And so it's a lot more consistent if you say, here's my intended route. And when you get to this moment at that intended route, however you get there, I want you to execute these behaviors and they don't have to be MMLC behaviors. They're just any function, any, you can interact with their game objects or control the camera, force animations, do whatever it is that you like. Okay. There should be no errors in the console. And if we go back to recheck dependencies, we should now find that dream text blinds is good. And so if you want to do this at time of character setup, you literally just an in input scheme override, you just drag in in plugins, three repeat MMC locomotion integrations, splines, there is a scriptable object for spline cinematic, and you can just drag that in. We're going to just go ahead and open up the uh, example scene. So I'll do the core example scene. And sure enough, you'll see uh, what looks like kids doodles in the scene. And so these are all the different splines. Let's go ahead and just fire this up and I'll show it in a future video. I'm going to walk through how to use all of this, how to do everything that you need to do. But if you just go to the player character, I like to be in scene view. If you go to the player character and we just literally pick one of these, I'll just go ahead and pick the trigger walk. So go to the inspector, go down into the ng character component, find that input scheme. And just like with the nav mesh controller, there's a wanted spline here. And so I can just go pick whichever one I want to pick. And so this one is going to trigger a walk, I don't know, somewhere maybe about here. And I picked this one because it's not gonna follow the spline very well, but it should show you. So he's gonna switch to a walk right there. So now the character is walking. And then towards the end, he's gonna pick the run back up and finish out the spline. And that's it.